Hey everybody, how are you? This is Darla with Stampa with Chaos. I hope you guys are all having a blessed Sunday. Happy Easter. Uh, we celebrated Easter last week with our kids, and so this week it's just the two of us. We just got home a little bit ago from Spokane. It was Paul's mom's birthday, so we were up there and uh, stayed with his brother and sister-in-law, and then the other sister and brother-in-law came down, and um, it was a lot of fun. So came home we got a few things done and i decided to pop on here and try to show you how to make this gift card holder so this is called a pop-up gift card card holder it just has a regular belly band on it you take the belly band off and when it opens up then it pops up like that so that is what we are going to make um it's not really hard but it is a little it is a little bit uh has a little bit of cutting cutting paper to do so i went ahead and i pre-cut everything sorry about the lighting here i'm gonna flip you over i pre-cut everything and so hopefully it'll go a little bit faster um the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut your cardstock which uh this is the pecan pie cardstock i cut it 10 by four and a quarter so it's 10 long four and a quarter wide and then you score it you scored at three, you scored at four, you scored at five, and then you scored at eight. And then it, it folds. So the first thing after we do that, then we went ahead and I cut the DSP. Our DSP I'm using is a little latte 12 by 12 designer series paper. It is double sided. Um, I'm using this side for the inside of the card. And I cut this area right here is two by four and a quarter. So I cut my DSP down a one and three quarters by four if you like to go by eights you can go by eights if you like to go by quarters you can go by quarters it's all the way it's up to you i usually do it by a quarter because i'm getting old and it's hard to see those little eighth marks <laughs> to be honest with you so we went ahead and we put that one down the next one i call this the first front flap on the inside this is two by four and a quarter so I, got, I went ahead and I got my DSP cut. I'm using the same DSP. So we're going to go ahead and glue that down. It gets kind of tricky when you are using patterned paper. And I will show you why when we get a little more into this. This part isn't really too bad because it's all a bunch of circles. But I'm going to tell you I had some, I did have a little bit of issues going on with the, uh, one of the plaids that I was using I cut it and I went oh no they don't match up so we got to be careful with that I'm going to go ahead and stamp and blend first I'm using our pe pe bleh, pecan pie ink I'm going to use a blending brush because this is really stark white to me and sometimes it's just nice to, nice to add a little bit of color so use I don't know if you guys can see this but I take my ink on my stamp pad and then I just kind of brush it off and get a lot of it off. I just want to give this paper a little bit of color. I didn't want to use the very vanilla because it's more yellow and this paper has the white with the pecan pie. But see, it just adds a little bit of color to it. So this, so this piece of paper right here was two and three quarters by four. And then I cut my cardstock to two and three and a half and it's gonna go there. And then once we stamp on this, it is one and three quarters by three and a quarter. And it's gonna go right there. And what we are going to stamp on this is thanks so much using our pecan pie ink and our Latte Love stamp set. It comes with the dies. This was part of the promotion that we had here the other day. So it's kind of cool. This is kind of a neat coffee cup. I. I wish that it would have had the one like you get like the latte at the coffee stand. I think they did that years ago. So, but this is, this is really kind of a cool one as well. So we're going to go ahead and use that. So I got my stamp right here that says, thanks so much. It is a polymer or photopolymer stamp. So I'm going to stamp on the pad. It gives it some more cushion. The other thing I'm going to do is I don't, I did, Earlier when I was trying it, I did it first and I, it was too dark for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp, I'm stamping on my stamp pad, which you can't see. Sorry about that. Stamp it on the stamp pad and then I'm going to stamp off and then I'm going to go directly to my card and stamp on. That way I get the, 
I get the ink, but it's not as dark. I just got ink all over me. I think I have ink everywhere. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I do. Look, I'm getting too excited and going too fast. Okay, let's try this. Let's slow down a little bit. So I stamped on the stamp pad. I stamped off, and now I'm going to go stamp directly on to this. And I like it because it's it's a little bit lighter, but you can tell. I just think it looks better. Though when I stamped it in the dark, it was too, I don't know. I couldn't do it. It was too, too brown. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and adhere this down to the pecan pie. And then I have some doodads. I'm just going to add a couple doodads. This is part of the sweet. The Level Latte Sweet, and of course I just had them, and now I won't be able to find them. Isn't that the way it goes? You have everything you need, you're raring to go, and then you get ready, and son of a gun. Are they still out here, maybe? Oh, no. Okay, let's just go a little bit slower. Um. I am getting ready for a class on Sunday at one o'clock at the fire station. Um, if you let me know by Wednesday, you can still get in on it. I do have a couple spots left available, so I'm pretty excited for that. Okay, so these are the adhesive back swirl dots, and this is part of that love uh, latte love suite as well. So I'm going to just take off a couple of those and put them down here just to give it a little added color. Okay, and then we're going to adhere that. Make sure I get the, the corners down. Move that out of the way. And then this is just going to go right here in the middle. Okay. Alrighty. The next step is going to be, this is what's going to fold and make your, um, make your pop-up right here. So we're just going to adhere some uh, latte paper on here. This is also double-sided. You could go with the pinkish, the uh, petal pink side if you wanted to. I'm going to stick with the brown. And we're just going to adhere a couple pieces of that so there is something there. This is really cool. I can't wait to do... It'd be cool for birthdays. It'd be good for anything, but I really am excited to do Christmas with this. I think these will be pretty. The one thing that I've always told you guys what I love about our DSP paper is that it um, it matches and, and the sweets, they all come. So if you've got six different sheets, they all match one way or the other. Now see what I'm talking about? This is going to be interesting. I am not going to worry about it too bad because this is going to go up, but my hearts don't match. And if you're OCD, that might drive you totally insane. And I probably could see why. So, but the good thing is they're not going to be showing together. So we're just going to do that. So you won't see it'll be on the other side. So I think I can handle it. And I'm not even OCD, but that did bug me. So the next one we're going to put down here is we've got our double-sided paper as well. We're going to stick down our DSP and this one is i'm trying to see my sides um this part is three by four and a quarter so the dsp is cut to two and three quarters by four kind of like i pretty much did it the same as this this one right here i kind of did it identical honestly so we're going to go ahead and pair our pumpkin man our pecan pie paper down card stock and then we're going to take this with our pecan pie and our blending brush. And we're just going to give it a little bit of color. Nothing big. Go over the top of it. Can you believe that it is going to be April 1st? Isn't it tomorrow? April Fool's Day? That is just nuts to me. Totally nuts. Um, the next thing I'm also going to do is they had a little um, stamp in here of the Latte Love. That is the beans, the beans that you would grind for your coffee. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to stamp onto my stamp pad 
and I don't want it dark, so I'm gonna stamp off, and then I'm just gonna come down here in the corner, just so it has something on there. And then there's a spot that you can write, you know, happy birthday, or on this one, thanks so much for all your hard work, you deserve a latte, or you could come up with lots of different things. Okay, so there's the inside of it. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna do that part last. We're gonna flip it over, and we now have the flap up here. So I have some more coordinating DSP, which is also part of this latte. This is this is dark chocolate on the back, and these are the, the beans. And I believe that is Calypso Coral is the color that it's in on the espresso bean. So we're gonna stick that up here. This one is, oh, I have something in my eye, sorry about that. Uh, I cut the DSP one and three quarters by four. The second DSP is cut one by three and three quarters, and it's gonna go here. And then the third DSP, which is the plaid, which I was telling you, you have to be careful on because when it matched up, it didn't match. And I didn't even honestly think about, I didn't think about the hearts matching. Okay, so put that down. And then the next one, we're just gonna put this over the top. And this little piece of DSP is two and a half by one and a half. And on the back of it is some co uh, coffee beans. And I ran out. I have another one right here. There we go. I love this Tombow. It is it is my absolute favor, favorite uh, adhesive. And I get it off of Amazon. Okay. So then the next the next square we have is the this is three by four and a quarter. So we are going to put down just the orange. Uh, the Calypso Coral, and it is cut two and three quarters by four. Okay, we're gonna put that there. And then the next one, we're gonna leave these two blank because these are gonna go together. We'll stick down our Calypso Coral uh, espresso bean paper. And it is also two and three quarters by four. Okay, and then the next one is going to be the, the beans. And this is the one that's not going to match. We'll just go ahead and do that. So, it shouldn't drive the batty because you don't really see it at the same time, right? So, it, sh it should be okay. If it drives you batty when you cut your DSP paper, take your time and cut it different. Because I, I honestly didn't even think about this one it was this one that I I cut it and I went oh my gosh that doesn't match up so I would have would have done that and it looks it looked horrible when I flipped it over so make sure that you cut it so that it lines up so that lines up there we're gonna put it here this one is two and a half by two and three eighths and this is the other coordinating side and just kind of match it up. So when you fold, okay, see I'm off a little. See how I'm off? That's gonna drive me crazy. So I'm gonna have to lift it a little bit. And let's do this. Okay, so let's go about right there. Yeah. probably could use a ruler but I don't use a ruler on anything I always just eye everything I'm close just a little bit off and you might want to use DSP where it doesn't really matter there we go that looks pretty good but now you can see why it matters <laughs> okay so there we got that the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna take some of our um, double-sided sticky tape and we are gonna put a little piece on each side and one piece on the bottom, so then it will keep it together. Um, I love Stampin' Up's uh, double-sided sticky tape. You guys, you know I don't lie. You know I tell you what I honestly feel, and everybody has their own choice of what they like to use. Um, the Stampin' Up! Police would probably tell me I'm terrible, but 
I don't use their adhesive, but I use their glue. And it happens to be the same brand of the adhesive. They just don't use that brand anymore, and I'm not sure why. Um, but I do like this. I quit buying it at the store, and I now just use theirs because I do like it. Okay, we're gonna just peel off these little edges real quick. And then it's just gonna fold over and stick really good. Okay, so you're gonna get it like that. Then the next thing we're gonna do, super easy, is you just take your cutter and just cut down here. It's about an eighth of an inch. You're going to cut right down to the, if you put your paper trimmer kind of where the DSP starts, you're just going to cut right over it. And then what's going to happen, if I went down far enough, you're going to get an opening. And that's where your card's going to sit. Let me grab my card out again. I was showing Paul, he was helping me do some stuff. Don't take his man card. And, uh, He's like, uh, hun, don't forget your debit card in there. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that would be funny. So there. So that's all you do is you just cut right along that line just enough to get it to open up. And since you put the glue down at the bottom, then there's your, there's your card. Oops, show you it that way. And seeing this part is stuck down here. So stinking cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, now all we need to do is the belly band. The belly band is pecan pie, and I cut it at, um, switch over to my other notes, nine and a quarter by one. And I went ahead and used pecan pie, and then I'm just going to use some double-sided tape. You could use your adhesive, but you want it to stay, so I'm, I am going to use the tape. And I probably will go down, well, I'm trying to see, I don't think I can go down to and you, when you put it on, you don't want it to be, I mean, you want it to be tight, but you want to make sure that you can get the card on and off, right? So just wrap it around and then kind of try it. If it, if it comes off easy enough, then you know you're okay. Then what you can do is unstick your tape and then you can fold your folds on the sides a little bit, a little bit better. And then fold it over. Okay. So there's the belly band. If you wanted to do the belly band this way, you would just go the opposite direction. We're going to go this way this time. Okay. So there's the belly band. Now we're going to stamp. This is interesting. So the cuff stamp that we have only goes one direction. And I wanted two cups. And I knew there was a way to do it. So I got on. And it is called reverse stamping. And I haven't done it a lot. So it took some, it took a little bit of practice. And I'm still not sure that I'm super duper good at it. But it's it's a lot of fun to do. So do you remember our little um, mats I told you about? These are our silicone craft sheets. I love them. Absolutely love them. If you don't have one, you need to get one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp our cup on white paper. So I will show you where is that at. And we're going to use our uh, pink, petal pink, petal, petal pink. So the first one, we're going to go one way. Okay. Now, when they did it, they had what they call a Stamparatus. And that was a, an item that Stampin' Up! used to sell. And something happened. And they had to take it off the market. And I have another one that is called, it's called something. Is it? I don't know, Misty. A little misty or miss petunia or something but i don't use it very often so i'm going to show you how to do it in case you don't have a machine because you can still stamp reverse without that so the first one we're going to do normal we're just going to stamp it get a good stamp on it the second one we want to go the opposite direction so you have two coffee cups so what you're going to do is you are going to stamp on the silicone mat just up here in the corner, get a good, good inking on it. You're gonna stamp just right up here, make sure your mat's clean. Stamp down, get a good stamp on it, and then you're gonna take your paper 
and I'm just gonna move this up because I have it up here. I'm gonna do it down here. You're gonna put it directly down. Do not move it and just fold, just kind of rub it in. That's all you're gonna do. I tried the brayer, but it seemed like it moved my paper and I was able to hold it better doing it this way. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? And it comes right off your mat. So if there's a little bit of, of residue left, it just wipes right off. Coolest thing ever. If you do not have a silicone mat, you need to go get one. I swear by it. I use it for my glues, my adhesives. It's just, it's, it's just the neatest thing ever. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna color. We're gonna take our stamping blends and my pink, petal pink, is about out, I think. So I am have it on my list to order here. I'm going to color the cup itself and the light, but I'm going to go around with the dark. So all the little, the little uh, detail is going to be in the dark petal pink. So I'm going to actually do that first. I'm not a very good colorer. Okay, we're just gonna see these little lines. We're just gonna add some detail. These cups remind me of, I guess like at home, your latte cups. I call them a soup bowl cup. <laughs> Pocos, they're not a soup bowl. <laughs> they're cool. So oh, we're gonna go around the lip right here too, just in the dark. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here since I have the pin out. The lady that was showing the reverse, she actually, you could do it to where with the stamp apparatus, because it doesn't move the paper at all, you could actually do it back to back. So if you cut this cup out, you could have the cup on the front and on the back. That was kind of cool. Um, I hope they come back with the stamp apparatus. It is really a neat tool. Okay, so there's the dark. Oops, I missed this one right here. And then we're gonna color in with the light. And this is the one that I'm about out of. I've used it a lot lately, I guess. Uh, also, you guys, our catalogs have hit the mail for the demonstrators. So I've seen online that people are getting them. I didn't stop and check our mail. So I'm hoping I have mine tomorrow. But April 2nd, I get to put in my pre-order for the new items, the new colors. Um, I'm really super excited and I will be putting an order in for catalogs. If you would like a catalog and are thinking you're interested in stamping, let me know. It, I have to pay for the catalogs and I have to pay for the shipping and I'm willing to do that if, if it's something you would be interested in. If it's something that you just are gonna throw on your, your uh, table and not ever look at it, then I would prefer not to send you one <laughs> but anybody that has purchased from me in this last year they definitely will get one but they are in a new format so if you do receive a catalog and you don't like the new format um, if I can help you anyway let me know I personally kind of liked it when I get it, I can actually go through it with you and kind of show you what I'm talking about. It's just a little bit different. So now on the top of the coffee, you're going to put the little milk. And I went ahead and used pecan pie. Not the milk. You're going to put the coffee apart. I'm going to put uh, use pecan pie. And that's if I can find it because I'm a dork and I don't know what I just did with it. There it is. I hit it. You could stamp on and then stamp off if you want it lighter. I think I actually just stamped on. I think I just stamped on and stamped it in there. It just goes right there in the top. Oh, that one doesn't look very good. Well, you know what? I'll color in that. That's why. I will color in a little bit more with the light pink of the cup. 
Because you know how you have the inside of the cup? That's what I forgot. There we go. There we go. Now it looks better. There we go. Isn't that cute? Now, when you cut this out, the die that we have only is the die for this one. It's not the die for this one. But since you use the the uh, stamping blends, it leaves a shadow on the back. So you're able to, to trace, you're able to use it and trace it out. I'm gonna cut these out super duper quick. We are almost done and this didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Whoops. one hopefully I got it yeah I did and it pops it out and that's still uh, so cute so now on this one because if you look the dies the wrong way so you're gonna turn it over and you're gonna match it up with you can see the lines through the through the paper so it's really easy to line it up and get it the same way and I I have done reverse stamp before and I I honestly if you don't if I don't use stuff a lot, I forget it. I think it's called age, but put it one little Google and you can figure it all out again. So I would have got straight A's in school if I would have had Google. Okay, so there's my other one. So then the next thing I did is I just took the uh, the belly band and I did because you know you're taking it on and off. I did use the double sided tape. You could just use adhesive if you'd like. Um, let's see if I can cover that band up. If not, we'll put it on the back. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that on the back. Okay. When she did her video, she put it at the front, but okay. And then one other little piece of it on the other one. Well, guys, I hope you have a good evening. I am busy getting ready for class. And I also have my uh, subscriptions going out here uh, probably by Tuesday. So um, I got to get those finished up. And we got sports this week. And... Paul's getting the boat out to go fishing, and spring has sprung. I'm going to put this on here so I can see where I want them. There you go. There you go. How easy is that? Ta-da! So stinking cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back and see me again. And have a great week. I'll be talking to you soon. This is Darla with Stampa with Chaos. Have a good night.